Hey guys, it's Matt Higgins. A lot of Star Wars fans have heard about the different organizations that pledge support to Count Dooku and are represented on the Separatist Council, but a lot of fans don't know much about them. In this video, I'm going to be going over some of the key groups that supported the Separatist movement. The Intergalactic Banking Clan was a commerce guild that became a large financier of the Clone Wars. On their homeworld of Scipio, the banking clan was in charge of many accounts and was ruled by five individuals called the Core Five. The leader of the banking clan, San Hill, was a member of the Separatist Council. San Hill pledged financial support both to the Separatists and the Republic. However, the banking clan charged extremely high interest rates for Republic business. Senator Rush Clovis exposed the unethical practices of the banking clan and became the new leader. However, his tenure was brief as the Republic invaded Scipio and took control of the banking clan. The Techno Union was a union composed of many tech corporations that also sought major profits. Led by Watt Tambor, the Techno Union pledged support to Count Dooku and the Confederacy of Independent Systems. The familiar B-1 and B-2 battle droids were designed by Techno Union engineers, along with many other Separatist weapons, including Crab Droids, Octuptara Tri Droids, and many more. After the Clone Wars, the Techno Union was nationalized by the Galactic Empire. The Trade Federation was an alliance of galactic trading and shipping companies that sided with the Separatists. The Trade Federation sought the removal of tariffs and taxes while also greedily increasing profits. A decade before the formation of the Separatist Alliance, the Trade Federation blockaded the planet of Naboo in opposition to the taxation of trade routes. The Trade Federation was secretly puppeteered by the Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Sidious, at this time. They were ultimately a vessel that would assist Senator Palpatine in becoming Supreme Chancellor of the Galactic Republic. During the Clone Wars, the Trade Federation denied any activity with the Separatists, but would suffer defeat ultimately at the hands of Darth Vader. Finally, the Corporate Alliance was a guild of very wealthy, greedy, and influential companies. With their wealth, the Corporate Alliance was able to bribe senators and other political officers to further their agenda. The Corporate Alliance was one of the few unions that was able to survive the Clone Wars without being dissolved or nationalized by the Galactic Empire. At one time, the Corporate Alliance was used as a cover by Commander Sato of Phoenix Squadron to evade Imperial capture. These are just the few organizations that held the most power within the ruling Separatist Council. Ultimately, thousands of star systems, organizations, and political entities made up the Confederacy of Independent Systems falling under the influence of the Sith. So that's about it, guys. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, and subscribe for more prequel-related content, including lore, discussions, as well as anything canon about the prequel trilogy. Thanks, guys, and may the Force be with you, always.